It's something you wouldn't expect to see inside an elementary school, but you will find it in Northside Cafeteria. This seascape is the brainchild of student council representatives. They put their heads together and share their ideas and watch them become a reality. It felt really good because you could see our ideas being like, they actually came to life. We could see it actually happen after we discussed it. And it made us feel really good because we kind of felt like valued and more important that we can make these big decisions. I mean, I feel like everyone has to be special in their own way, so. I feel like everyone should get, at least get a chance like I did. It was really nice because I always had ideas I wanted, but I never really got to tell anybody. And so it was really nice to be able to actually have ideas and have it come true. Student agency comes in all shapes, from advocacy for exciting upgrades to advocacy for the Fairport values of care. If you look, you'll find it. Student council reps at Joanna Perrin are ready to help their peers feel welcome safe and empowered with a bulletin board of positive thoughts. Um, it's really important for students to have a voice because they need to know like what they're feeling on the inside and if they don't get a voice, then nobody can help them. And we want people to have a voice and all the other student council members thinks that it should be a good idea to help other people find their voice from inside. I think I'm gonna keep doing student council up through high school because this like I can sort of have a voice in like the decisions that are made by the school or, and help like raise money for important causes and like give people a boost when they're feeling down. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, that, that is Pitch, yeah, research, cool. interview, write, publish. Yeah. The essential steps Fairport High School journalism students follow to dig deep into what matters to their school and their peers. They're learning to be stewards of the Fairport story. I think uh, journalism teaches students to like look critically at different issues and like examine um, different aspects that they might not think about and like learn how to take into account different perspectives when looking at an issue. Um, and I think the Lampian is especially great because it's um, like student-led. Well, I was really interested in the aspect of being able to research topics and dive into them more than I would normally. It gives me an excuse to analyze things, which I already enjoy doing in my time. And then also once I found out um, you could get your articles in the Lampian, I thought that was fun to maybe write things that students would enjoy reading. I think when it comes to certain school issues or school events, I think the perspective on something like that that a student would have would be very different from what a teacher or an administrator would have. For a student to tell that story and for the voices shared in interviews and quotes to be from students kind of gives readers and gives people who aren't really living in it a real sense of what it's like. From the pages of the newspaper to the airwaves on Radar Radio, Fairport students have a lot to share with the world and they aren't wasting any time. The best in alternative music since 1985. This is the only station that matters. 90.5 FM, WBER Rochester, broadcasting live from Raider Radio at Fairport High School. We're going to be the next generation of just people in the community. It's important for us to be heard now so that when we're present and like applying for jobs, applying for leadership positions, that people like know who we are and what we've done before. And it's really cool to get a jump start on that in high school, whether it's through a school club or the school newspaper, just to show that like you're here in this school and that your voice matters and that you care to show that it matters because every single person in this building leaves a mark on this school. We encourage students to open their minds, learn new things, become leaders, and most importantly, share their voices. Their stories tell us advocacy matters. So for me, I'm, I don't like to talk in front of people. So I like being able to be like a club like the BSU, it's like not everyone has to speak up, but you still, you're like still able to like voice your opinion in some way or another. And there are like many other clubs like MSA and like the Dream Club. There are other clubs where they help. Like even if you're like not a vocal person, you can still like be able to voice what you want to say and have other people who like will be there to say it for you. You know, to be able to do anything is to have courage and to believe in yourself, to have that confidence. So if you're gonna bet on anything, bet on yourself. And that's 
That's all I can really say. That's what I do, you know, and I, I make it through. I, it got me this far, you know, so that's all I can say.